Let's get ready to rumble! Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center. This, the site of our championship fight. Ten rounds of lightweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Flores is making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Little get to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. up of the jab by Iceman. Halfway through round number one. Thunder's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Iceman's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Gaddy's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Committing to the body work with the double jab. Good block there by Flores. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Gaddy's defensive flaws in that last round were very, very costly. He's not doing a good enough job of simply protecting himself. No, I'm not sure that he knows how. You're letting this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around, you gotta move your hands in there. All right, let's go. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. He throws it. Here we go, round two is underway.
great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Thunder. Nice job doubling up the jab by Iceman. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Take away the wheels, go into the body with the double jab. Halfway through this round. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that. But boxing is such a global sport. And every little region of the country defines its fighters differently. And the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're gonna get a fighter who's a little cruder and he's gonna have to be more physical because, you know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball or, you know, he can be inclined to be a little bit more technical. And I think that you're influenced by those kind of things, by the lackings of certain benefits in somebody's background or preparation. There you go. Thunder's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Gaddy's putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. You have no, he's not. He's not landing guy, when right? he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing it. And round number three is underway. Good block by Iceman. And now they're trading blows. Iceman's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past him. Move your head! Reaching the halfway mark of this round, and another jab comes in by Iceman. Good combination to the head. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Iceman's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Just, just hook it. Relax, relax. You're doing great. Keep the pressure on him. You gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to go.
So as we start round four, we reflect on the first three, looking at Teddy's scorecard. Iceman's earned good marks taking all three rounds. Yeah, not eventful some of the rounds. Not a lot to separate the two guys, but I think that his jab has carried the day. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. top but was unable to connect <laughs> 90 seconds to go in round number four <laughs> see the quick jabs those doubled up quick jabs they can be so effective by Flores moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here joe what he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back he had his eyes set on the uppercut but was unable to land it Boom. well placed right hands from both men Nice work with the double jab to the midsection. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. I need you to box. Wait for him. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Flores. Flores is doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together, this is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is, you're supposed to put them together. One or two are gonna be blocked, but when you put them together like that, they're gonna get through. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Iceman. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Flores' combination punching is working well here. Gaddy's well off the mark that time. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. You got this one. Looking good. Gaddy's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Thunder so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. He got rocked, he just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Thunder's killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a 20 by 20 ring. They could fight this thing in like a phone booth here. Now he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they removed all the tires, all the wheels. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Stay away.
away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. Halfway through the scheduled rounds here, Gaddy's punch is far off the target. That's what I want to see. Landing two jabs by Flores. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Gaddy's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the Will of the Wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Thunder's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. Sharp three punches landing by Iceman. Iceman's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Flores. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Gaddy's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out here. Start the seventh round. Thunder's now got to figure out a way to do exactly what he did in the last round here at the start of this round. Yeah, and his opponent, hey, his opponent has to say here, you seem to forget that sometimes, Joe. His opponent has to make sure that he doesn't do the same thing he did the last round. Flores, his strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A-plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Keep Once moving. the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A-plus. Solid shot again downstairs. Nice strike after catching one by Thunder. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Halfway through the seventh round. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. Flores is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Thunder. Gaddy's oh. landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best.
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Iceman's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. You gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. He's beaten. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. We thought this fight would be heading in an obvious direction after watching the first few rounds. But here we are in round number eight, and Teddy, your scorecard shows us to be closer than expected. Thunder's done a fine job of getting himself back into this. Yeah, he came out of the gate a little slow, but he's been picking up momentum ever since. Relax, relax. Not able to land the headshot. Good double jab by Iceman. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Iceman. Flores has got that one gift that we have seen win time and time again, and that is pure speed. He's got it every which way. Yeah, he's putting those punches together. There's one way that you have to combat speed, and that's not trying to match it, and that's controlling distance and using timing. That's what his opponent needs to do now. Snapping jabs by Iceman. Thunder's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And a smart counter punch by Flores. Flores is getting an earful here. He's being reminded, you put yourself in position to win, but you have to stay on course in order to win. Underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Iceman's ability to utilize this jab, fighting on the outside, has been so critical in what we've seen on the scorecard so far. Why so, Teddy? Because it's not a common jab. You know, he reminds me, believe it or not, of Hector Camacho, the former junior lightweight champion, because he throws a trip hammer jab. You know, usually you turn that jab over, you know, counterclockwise, but he doesn't turn it over. He just drops it down. He just drops it straight down. There's no warning, and boy, it's been landing. And now another left. Ninety seconds into the ninth round. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Gaddy's down on the canvas. His opponent landed a solid uppercut. And lots of things come from the ground. Vegetables, fruits, and here was an uppercut. And he ate it too. Two, three, 
So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Nice block by Ice Fan. Flores is showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. Thunder's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Up top with the right hand. What a big shot. Blake Goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, behind the knockout, your and a skill champion of the world, Hossman. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Flores is now a winner by knockout.